I'm digging through the glove box. I thought I had a map. Hey Dreamers, this is Jade, and I've decided to try and participate in Gratitude Documented this year. Now, that is a series um, created by Illustrated Faith some years ago. Basically, um, you get prompts every year and um, basically do gratitude journaling around the prompt. Now, this year the prompts seem to be um, Bible verses and... I haven't really been into the Bible or read the Bible in quite a while, but I actually recently just got a new one um, because I've been wanting to study it for myself now that I have a completely brand new perspective um, on the Bible. Um, I don't necessarily look at it as uh, literal or actual historical fact anymore, but as a metaphorical story that's pretty much happening in the mind of man every day. Now that I have a new perspective on the um, the Bible and I have been feeling like my actual gratitude journaling that I do um, daily has been a little stale and I've been wanting to kind of spice it up a bit. I felt this was the perfect opportunity to give that a go. So we'll see how it turns out. Anyway, I thought that we could um, just because I need to get a little notebook ready. So I thought that we could. Get the cover on my notebook and just decorate it together and get it all ready um, for tomorrow since tomorrow is November 1st. So let's jump right into it. I am going to cover it with a, a sheet from the I Am Paper Stack by Simple Stories. I got this a little while ago um, for $1.74 on clearance at Hobby Lobby. But this is what it looks like if anybody is interested in that pack. And I'll link what I can below. Anyway, I got my um, my sewing stuff here. The wax thread, whatever, and needle. And this is a notebook I'll be, I'll be using. Um, this is one from, and I took the prompts here and just shrunk them down to fit. So I can just stick it in this notebook and I'll have it right there when I'm working in it. So um, I had, I don't know what I was trying to do with this, but... There's no sense in wasting the insides. And I see I was trying to restaple it, and I don't think it was working out. I think it may have been too thick. So I shouldn't have unstapled it in the first place. But um, that's why I got the sewing kit out. So we shall um, see how it all works out. So from there, I picked this pattern here because some of these are the way it's facing, it wouldn't look right especially since they're double-sided so I pick one that it wouldn't matter either way so either or anywho let's get started getting this all together we'll see how it goes and this is actually pretty close so maybe I'll just need to So, mark. Actually, yeah, that'll fold over. Maybe I should do that. I'm sorry, guys. I know this is a little bootleg trying to figure this out like this. But I'm just trying to figure out where I should cut on both sides to try to make it as precise as possible. So I'm going to I don't know. We'll see how that works. Anyway, let's cut this. Hey, I'm gonna go get my book 
to sit this down in to get the holes put in and Okay, I got my book. I'm just going to set this down inside the book. So, um, I can punch my holes in it. And I'm not like an expert at the whole sewing thing. I just, um, I found a video. And I'm, honestly, it's been a while. So, I'm not even sure which video I watched. Probably, most likely, likely it was one by sea lemon so i will check her channel and if i find one that i think is very similar to what i'm about to do i will link it below so um you guys can see but it's very very simple what i'm about to do like i said i am not an expert sewer <laughs> but it's going to be quite simple so here i already have my um my waxed thread and needle and I'm just gonna eyeball it. Um, usually I like to um, measure precisely, but I am not going to do that this time. And actually I'm not gonna stick it with this. I'm gonna get my awl because it has a little more, I can um, grip it better and it'll have more power behind it. Yeah, here we go. So yeah, I got this awl, you cheap, you can get it on Amazon, whatever. Anyway, it's just a punch punch the holes in the right. and I like to push it all the way through and then I think I'm gonna do this one make the hole decent enough and then just do something here in the middle towards the middle all right so we got our holes in and now all we need to do is sew it together now you can go okay now I'm about to bind it um, think if you want the strings on the inside you go down and if you want the strings on the outside start um, from the outside here um, so we'll see how that goes I think I'm gonna go with the inside this this go around so yeah so you just stick it you start in the middle stick the needle through the middle and then pick a side. I mean, it's dot grid, so it really wouldn't matter either way. And then go through that side. So it looks like this on the back. And it looks like this in the middle. Okay? And now, you just take it and go through this hole at the bottom. Pull it tight. So you got one side where you're going to tie. And then on the outside... You want to go back through the middle um, here. You want to do it on the other side of where the other string is. So if this string is over here, you kind of want to come up on this side here. And pull it through. Alright. So you want, want to tighten it up a bit. I mean, not too tight where you can't get it to do anything or move or it's too stiff. But you just want to make sure that's nice and secure. And that's going to be that. I'm going to take that off and cut this as well. All right, and then we just tie this up in the middle pretty good. And it's waxed thread, so it should stay. Like, you shouldn't have any problems with this staying. Um, so I'm just going to double knot that. Right. and I don't know I may perhaps end up hanging something on the threads of this so for now I'm gonna leave it a little bit long and cut it um, I may decide not to do anything with it and just you know cut them up further but for now I'll leave it like that kind of give you that thing anyway here is 
put a little booklet with my own cover. Um, you guys know I prefer rounded corners, so I may um, do that as well. I may round all the corners, and I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. So, let's get started. And I think you guys pretty much get the gist of how to round corners. Um, I love this one for like things like paper and stuff. And then for things where it needs to really cut through a little better, I use the, um, the We Are Memory Keepers corner rounder. So yeah, um, and it's this one is the Katomaru Pro and it has three, my bad, three different settings there is a small medium and large I generally go for the medium when I'm doing um, rounding corners on projects and stuff so yeah that's just my favorite one it's not too not too round not too not round it's like, then if you do that anyway I'm gonna go ahead and finish rounding this I don't think you guys need to be privy to that Okay, I am done rounding my corners, as you can see. And so it's time to kind of decorate the cover. Um, and so I pulled out just a few things. I haven't decided how I want to do this quite yet. So I just pulled out a few decorative elements, some ephemera, some little stickers. Um, again, ephemera. Sorry, I know there's a lot going on there. But yeah. And I printed out, I found this image online that I really liked. Um, it said, always be grateful. So I printed it out in a couple different sizes on tracing paper. And I really love this look. And also on white cardstock, just in case I decide I'd want to go with that more. But I'm really kind of digging the way that looks there. Or maybe, I don't know. We'll see. So, anyway, this is what I pulled out and some other stickers or whatever. And we'll see how this decorating business goes, guys. I'm digging through the glove box. I thought I had a map in here. The driver's door doesn't lock. I bought the car my junior year. There's candy in my backpack. And you can pick our soundtrack. We're heading for the East Coast tonight. So pack your bags and hold on tight Cause we're taking off Pack up here Drag us in Pack up here In Drag us in Pack here In Hint in Back coast and Hold back there in Run away with me We're on the way to New York City Take my hand and see Manhattan never looks so pretty Travel light and see the world right You'll never know if you never go So and say hello to New York City And say hello to New York City And say hello to New York City Feet up on the dashboard We're driving with the windows down Did you forget your phone card? Small town, dinner at an IHOP, a shower at a truck stop. We'll listen to some Johnny Cash. Take my hand and don't look back, cause we're moving on. Pack up here, drag us in, pack up here, in, drag your back, pack here, in, get in, back to coast, and hold back there in. Run away with me, we're on the way to New York City. Take my hand and see Manhattan never looks so pretty Travel light and see the world right You'll never know if you never go So run away with me And say hello to New York City And say hello to New York City
Yeah, you love the New York City Run away with me We're on the way to New York City Take my hand and see Manhattan never looks so pretty Travel light and see the world right But you never know if you never go So run away with me Stroll the midtown streets And tell me that you don't feel giddy Lady Liberty Ain't throwing this a wink or is she Travel light and see the world right You'll never know if you never go So run away with me And say hello to New York City I'm digging through the glove box I thought I had a map in here The driver's door doesn't lock I bought the car my junior year There's candy in my backpack And you can pick our soundtrack We're heading for the east coast tonight So pack your bags and hold on tight Cause we're taking off Pack map here Track is in Pack map here In Track is in Pack map here, in. here. In. Me. We're on the way to New York City Take my hand and see Manhattan never looks so pretty Travel light and see the world right You'll never know if you never go So run away with me And say hello to New York City And say hello to New York City On the dashboard We're driving with the windows down Did you forget your phone cord? We're we'll one in the next small town Okay, I am done decorating the front cover And you guys pretty much saw my process um, I like collaging things I don't do it enough So um, basically, like I said I found an image that, about gr gratitude um, On google or pinterest or whatever i don't know but i saved it and um printed it out on tracing paper and just punched it out and then punched out kind of a background with this, my scallop punch um it's the fiskers two and a half scallop and then just took um pieces and elements from different ephemera packs and sticker packs that i have and put them together to come up with this and i am quite satisfied with the way the cover looks so now i am just going to go here on the inside and I'm going to paste down the prompts um, so I don't have to keep referring to a separate sheet of paper I can just go to the front here and I'll probably be decorating this front page I don't know if I want this to be page one or if I want the inside to be page one I have yet to decide but I will be doing some more process videos for this like I said um I do gratitude journaling every day, um, but I, it's just been getting kind of stale for me lately. Just the same thing, and I kind of feel like my heart isn't really into it as much as I, it, it, I used to be. So I just wanted to um, do something to kind of spice up my gratitude journal, seeing as how it's just kind of list or whatever. So this little thing project kind of came along at the right time for me um we'll see if i'm able to keep up with it <laughs> or whatever so and then next project is I'm, I'm going to i think attempt the december daily again mine got interrupted last year so i'm hoping to be able to actually do it and finish the whole thing or whatever and not have any interruptions for it and i'll be making a journal for that probably another small one and i may be making like extras in case somebody else out there um may want to purchase one 
for their December daily. Um, I tend to go with smaller notebooks because I feel like with all the other journaling that I do, um, it's easier. And I just really like small sizes. Not saying I don't ever use big sizes, but my preference is smaller sizes, A6s, um, pockets, things like that. Um, so, yeah, that is pretty much it for this video. I know it was all helter-skelter and all over the place. Forgive me, guys. But just trying to figure out what I wanted to do. I didn't quite have a clear picture, but it came out pretty cool. So, um, and then this here, I don't know if I just you guys can read it says my cup overflows but i love the way this gold here is peeking out and the extra gold here and all of the leaves peeking out from behind that um really like the way that it came out um and the cover and you can recycle the insides of notebooks that you've already bought i was trying to do something with this and i cannot remember what it was but i'm glad i'm going to be able to use the guts of that book so that is it i want to thank everybody who comes to my channel um, thank you all for liking, subscribing, and sharing my videos. You guys are the bomb.com. I really appreciate you. If you're new to my channel, consider doing the same. Um, hit that bell icon to get the notifications of when I post, usually Mondays and Fridays. However, every now and again, I may have an extra video up or two during the week. So, that's it. If you guys have any comments and questions, leave those below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Bye.